of new crate the april edition of this opening uh, a quick note yet again used to this because i tried to use the company app after the second screen app on my iphone it didn't work it, it went jack shit plus i had to put you you, you had to you get used to be seeing this keyboard because uh this is what i use for my bma on pc but Either way, uh, it's gotta be a huge cross of fuck. Plus, I need two hard ass because my internet connection is complete shit. But you all came for you all came to see another unboxing. So I'm not sure I saw you this. <sighs> Bam! Another unboxing, and this time uh, it has another paper crap aesthetic. And this will either means that it has got the special inside. So and I just hope we don't get disappointed. Now a quick side note, uh, I I always have my videos with without the music. I mean with, with generation one I technically have music because I did need I have some issues, but now in generation second I didn't really have any issues. But now in this generation, which is free I apparently there's been some cross the fox going on. And I don't know what's going on, but I could have sworn that. Plus uh, I don't really have enough space in, in uh in my setup. It's like here's cross the fuck, uh ton of maneuvers, wide wing, and it took a lot of time to get this up set up. I could have actually tried my best to make this simple but you know how it is. It's not easy being the Edrich Emperor. So let's see what is inside. <laughs> All right. Wait. Hold on a sec. So let's see what we have. So before we actually try this on, let's see what we deal with. So we have the the official media epics. We taught works up the other wings of uh, Faku Pongas. Uh, I used to watch the first half of the, uh, the original movie, but uh, this was made by artists by film. And this also a problem to crack them all, so they're actually doing well. And it's kind of good. I mean, I, they put a lot of detail and they hold mistakes into this box. So I don't really add anything else. We also have this. Oh, the map of Hyrule. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I never knew this was. I mean, I always thought they were gonna they were going to give me the Breath of the Wild map, but that is not the case. So pretty good, correctable. We also got this. Hold on a sec. We also have the official Thanos. <laughs> Thanos Infinity Wall. And it, and for some reason he has a Ben 10 uh, single suit, but it's a person where it says Thanos. I admit it's just a t shirt with an aesthetic, but it seems to be a better maneuver. Plus, they put a lot of detail in the one to sort of make it the high quality file. So, I don't really brave them. Audio. Next, we have. Uh. <laughs> the Dark Crystal set of six note cards with envelopes. Again, I know it was the Dark Crystal, but I'm assuming it's pretty much overweighted. Maybe, but. Uh, this pen is, uh, what, okay, what, I don't get it. So, we also have the challenge pen. So we have, so we actually have a pen that will unlock some, uh, exclusive content, and including the... Guys, this about Nintendo map 
So we have a plan for it. And we have some other types to detain uh, something else. I really know, but it is what it is. So it depends. They keep it depend on secret. So we may as well add it up. But now we have the unboxing of this video. So my best bet is that there has to be something decent going on. So this is, if you don't know, it's a Thanos Grove. And even though I don't really watch the Infinity War, I didn't have any tendencies to even watch the movie because it was it wasn't my type. Plus, I wasn't that much huge with the Marvel series, so it wasn't my scene to be a sack. But there's a lot of, if I have to say, a lot of maneuvers being added. So I guess this is one of those paper grabs they try to bring back. They haven't really done any paperbacks for all for, let's say, um, Ariel. It was just, I don't know, artwork, detailing the movies, but... And we also have the instructor guide. And I wouldn't know what was the whole point, but... Sometimes car stock is actually kind of difficult to maneuver. I mean, I said before that I was, I'm not that much of an actual whip between paper crap. Uh, that's because I never... Witty... Witty became an expert. I mean, I think I'm kind of, of a beginner of a novelist. But that's because me being an amateur in paper crap, I wasn't that much used in the paper crap scene. And that was because really and I was that much into. And I wasn't into the whole scene with it. I mean there were some cute figures made by Fun Art. And really paper crap was that much of a huge scene to me. I will probably say that to I was kinda late to the train. So you could say that paper crab has been a obscure maneuver to me. It was an ultimatum that I don't really understand. And I guess that this was due to the fact that I was a damn much huge with paper crab. I mean that's because I never become that much interested in paper craft. Never have an effort because I was always into the whole I don't know. I mean with paper craft it was so much difficult to keep myself new for. And this was actually a better maneuver. Now, I'm not sure how you could put this back together. I mean, I guess that there was a huge issue being added. I mean, I guess it was trying to promote Infinity Wars, but the thing is that I'm not a huge fan of the Infinity Wars. So it was kind of difficult to become a huge fan. Plus, the way they actually set it up is kind of difficult to say these. I mean, I may be that much of a fan boy, but. But another mouse of a Unitech. And wait, did they have some tendencies to make the packaging so difficult to put together because... Either the fact that they tried to make it difficult or they are trying to, uh, I wouldn't know, make the whole scene mostly a huge pain, yes. I mean, I'm not sure how you supposed to put this together, but... Was there any other way possibly so much difficult? Hi, uh, the attractions didn't really make any sense. 
I mean, I suppose you're supposed to put this uh, package in. And you're supposed to put this in forward. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I, I wouldn't know. Uh, the whole thing seems to be a huge confusion, to say the least. I never... You know, I never knew that it was difficult to make paper craft. Uh, and I also tried to have some patience. Paper craft seems to be a highly maneuver. It demands you to have patience, and you need to have all the patience possible if you wanted to survive. And the most confusing for us is that the instructions are kind of fake. Uh, but it claims that you were supposed to cross box inside out with the yellow panels forward. And I mostly am kind of confused with this rich because they don't make it simple and the whole attraction seems mostly fake. I mean, I could try to make this possible, but it's just not that simple. But there's a part you can't even fit. I can't even fit this as I should. Even if I did, it was a huge pain, yes. I mean, whoever designed this didn't really play test this or didn't really sync so far. So it's really that much of a huge pain, yes. He's, the box says turn this inside out, but uh, I can read the instructions. It said that on Fort you create a life fat. Cause light up, uh... Okay... Okay, whoever made this didn't really make, want to make this easy. So, I might have put it into the one shot. And it, I, I was supposed to put it in the opposite direction. So maybe I'm kinda new to the paper craft scene, but that's because I never became so used with paper craft. I mean, it was so much difficult to put this together though, that I can't even have the patience. And it's either because I didn't even know paper craft or I just suck completely. I mean, I'm gonna get the Nintendo Labo soon enough, and I need to get myself prepared. If I'm not prepared for this, then what am I even doing in my life? And also, you have to put this together so they don't keep keep maneuvering. But I mean, between you and me, I'm not a huge fan of paper craft. Maybe I am, but. I mean, I used the Nintendo Labo makes it easier to give you all straight instructions. And I wonder if I can actually make this fit. Oh, it's so bad. I mean, the context inside this are kind of good, but... I, I'm not sure it was supposed to be that way, but I'm gonna take some chances. Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you got yourself a... Infinity Gauntlet. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, you got yourself a f Infinity Gauntlet. A cool paper crap edition of the Power series by the same name. Yep. Kinda cool. If only the box would just stay put, maybe, but uh, I had to maneuver that by my own expense. Oh. <laughs> that was the most difficult one I had to deal with. But a East Beach. beach I use this beats trying to get this maneuver because otherwise it was more, it could be more difficult than I could imagine. 
but they trying their best to make this most exciting and I'll blame them. It is what it is. Uh, how do I? If, if when you could actually stay put, that nah, could be fine, but I'm not sure it could be great cosplay material, which it won't. So, um, let's recap what we got before we end this. So we have the map from the original Shondo. I'm not sure what series, either of Stryer Princess or something. A pen that claims that uh, it has some secrets, but we don't even know. We have the Dark Crystal with no cross. And we pretty much also have the Fudu Baggins Midi. Uh, media epics with a winter workshop if you add it up plus we also have the t-shirt which you already saw in the beginning so all the uh that's about it hope you guys all uh, enjoyed this video i probably might make more videos later if my internet connection wasn't a pain in the ass but i might keep you updated soon enough it's going to take a lot of time to make more, make new videos since uh, my internet connection speed is not that superior. Plus, I have to recalibrate it to some points. But either way, uh, it is what it is. So, um, thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys have a great day. And hope you guys have a better maneuver. Right, Tad Tad. Sign out with a different RT Mato. And peace out. Sign out.